Against the certainty that I would be drafted, I joined the Air Force. Soon I was in Santa Ana, California for pre-flight training. I did not then have a firm testimony of the gospel that it was true, but I knew that my seminary teachers, Abel S. Rich and John B. Lillywhite, knew it was true. I had heard them testify and believed them. <clears throat> I thought to myself, I will lean on their testimony until I gain one of my own. And so it was. I'd heard about patriarchal blessings, but I had not received one. In each state, there is an ordained patriarch who has the spirit of prophecy and the spirit of revelation. He is authorized to give personal and private blessings to those who come recommended by their bishops. I wrote to my bishop for a recommend. J. Roland Sandstrom was the ordained patriarch living in Santa the Santa Ana State. He knew nothing about me and had never seen me before, but he gave me my blessing. In it, I found answers and instruction. While patriarchal blessings are very private, I will share a short quote from mine. You should be guided through the whisperings of the Holy Spirit, and you should be warned of dangers. If you heed those warnings, our Heavenly Father will bless you so that you might be again reunited with your loved ones. That word, if, though small in print, loomed as big as the page, I would be blessed to return from the war if I kept the commandments and if I heeded the promptings of the Holy Ghost. Some of us are the literal seed of Abraham. Others are gathered into his family by adoption. The Lord makes no distinction. Together, we receive these promised blessings if we seek the Lord and obey his commandments. But if we don't, we lose the blessings of the covenant. To assist us, his church provides patriarchal blessings to give each recipient a vision for his or her future, as well as a connection with the past, even a declaration of lineage back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We may not know when or how the Lord's answers will be given, but in his time and in his way, I testify his answers will come. For some answers, we may have to wait until the hereafter. This may be true for some promises in our patriarchal blessings or from blessings for our family members. Let us not give up on the Lord. His blessings are eternal, not temporary. I encourage you to study, to search out your ancestors, and to prepare yourselves to perform proxy baptisms in the house of the Lord for your kindred dead. And I urge you to help other people identify their family histories. As you respond in faith to this invitation, your heart shall turn to the Father's. The promises made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will be implanted in your hearts. Your patriarchal blessing with its declaration of lineage will link you to these fathers and be more meaningful to you. Your love and gratitude for your ancestors will increase. Your testimony of and conversion to the Savior will become deep and abiding. And I promise you will be protected against the intensifying influence of the adversary. As you participate and love this holy work, you will be safeguarded in your youth and throughout your lives.